So you want to read more books. That's great, but how do you do that? Is it about learning how to read faster? Is it one of those apps that sums up 300 page books in like five minutes? Or is it about skipping reading altogether to plug yourself into the matrix so you can download and instantly learn brand new skills? I know Kung Fu. The answer is none of the above. And although some of those things may help you, the most important thing is to keep watching this video because I'm gonna share with you two specific things that I do to make sure that I get more books in my life and you can get more books in yours too. My name is Pat Flynn. I'm here to help you make more money, save more time, and help more people. And I want to tell you really quick about how many books I read as a kid. Now, in addition to the books that I read in school, the number of books I read outside of the classroom was about seven, carry the five, um, zero books. Why? Because it was boring. It just took forever. My mind would wander, and there were more interesting things that I was into, like video games and also television shows about video games that just were more interesting to me. And Dad, that one time you quizzed me to see if I actually read a book that you told me to read, um, I just read the back cover while you were holding it up. I'm so sorry. But fast forward to 2017, I read and consumed a total of 45 books. And actually it was in my best business book of 2017 video that many of you commented on just how many books I read and how I did it. So how was I able to consume all these books in just one year? Any guesses? Well, if audiobooks was your answer, well then you are mostly wrong. Now, yes, I did consume about six or seven books in audiobook format during 2017, but that's not how a majority of them were consumed. And actually, when I listen to audiobooks, I actually don't like to listen at one and a half to two times speed. I don't know how people do that because when I do that, yes, I save a little bit of time, but I lose out on the opportunity to let a lot of those ideas sink in. So if it's not audiobooks, what's the big secret? Well, two things. Two things. First, you must develop a reading habit. Have reading become something you do every day at the same time every day. And when reading is just something you normally do every single day, well, then you obviously are gonna read more books. Here's a quote from John C. Maxwell. He says, you will never change your life until you change something you do daily. The secret of your success is found in your daily routine. You've probably heard a lot of talk over the past couple of years about the importance of having a daily routine, even more specifically, a morning routine. Practices like meditation and journaling have become a daily habit for people and you should absolutely make reading a part of that daily habit routine. It's not just about your morning routine either. It's about all times of the day when you know you do something regularly and consistent where you can fit reading in. That's how you begin to build that habit. According to Business Insider, Warren Buffett fits in about five to six hours a day of reading. Mark Cuban gets in about three hours a day. And Elon Musk said that when he was younger, he was reading science fiction novels for up to 10 hours a day. Yeah, and uh, I wonder how that worked out for him. Now, you don't need to read for five to 10 hours a day. That's not what I'm here to tell you to do. I'm not gonna suggest that you actually read 45 books per year either. But what if you could just read more stuff more regularly? Allow yourself to fit more knowledge into your brain so you could grow your business faster, so you could get ahead at work, so you can become a better parent, whatever you want. It all comes back to this thing that I talked about called creating a reading habit. And here's mine. In the mornings, I usually wake up at about 4.30 a.m. to 5 a.m. And yeah, I know that's quite early. It wasn't always like that, but I've loved the morning routines and personal development for myself. I spend a little bit of time journaling in my five minute journal. Then I use this thing called a muse to meditate for about seven minutes. And then I go and eat breakfast. And while I eat breakfast, I read for about 30 minutes. I don't watch the news. I don't go on Facebook. I don't watch YouTube in the morning. I don't even go online because I know that if I get my reading time in the morning, if I cannot get it in the rest of the day, well, at least I know I got some time in while I ate breakfast. And then if I'm home for lunch, I'm usually eating and reading at the same time again. It's about another half hour of time. But my favorite time to read is during a 30 minute time period in the evenings, right before dinner, where the kids, my wife and I, we all pick our separate individual books and we just spend silent reading time together for about a half hour. And I love that because it promotes healthy reading habits across the whole family and especially with two very young kids, promoting those habits now are so important for their future. So I love that and credit to my wife for that idea. And then at night, right before bed, when I'm tucked in, I get about 20 to 30 minutes uh, before I head to Sleepy Dreamland. Thanks. So all in all, I get about two hours of reading time a day with that routine. And that's my schedule, the schedule that works for me. And you need to have a schedule that works for you. And that's the key word, schedule. You need to have that dedicated time to read. You need to schedule it in because if you don't, that habit is never gonna be formed and you're not gonna read your books. And if you're struggling for time, probably two things need to happen. One, you need to be a little bit more efficient in some of the other things that you do to get some time back or sacrifice things that you probably know you shouldn't be watching, maybe if it's watching or doing 
that are just taking your time away from the actual things that matter and will help you in your life. No matter when it is, no matter how long, make sure you just honor that schedule. When you create that habit, it can be a habit that can truly change your life. Now, I did say there were two things that helped me roll through all these books in 2017. We just discussed the first one, and that second one is this. Read books that actually matter to you. Right? 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 The main reason I didn't read books when I was a kid because those books didn't matter to me. And I really ramped up my reading game when I started to decide to pick and choose the books that mattered to what I was doing. Now the books that I read, I want to read. And because I want to read them, I do. And because I do, I read them faster and I'm more efficient. I think a lot of times we hear recommendations from other people who are like, ooh, I read this book, you gotta read it too. And we're like, oh, I love that person. I must read that same book because it's gonna give me the same kind of results. Stop doing that. Number one, you might read that book a little bit and maybe halfway through you get bored of it and you put it away and you're like, ah, what's wrong with me? Or you just read that book all the way through. You persist hoping that there's gonna be some nugget of information in there and then you read all the way through and you're like, ah, I wasted my time. Now, don't get me wrong. It's great to take book recommendations from others. I've given you book recommendations, but I truly advise you to only take those recommendations if that book content matters to what it is that you're doing. So the big question I have for you is, what is your next thing? What are you working on right now? What's important in your life at the moment? Read books about that. You're going to read them faster. You're going to stop wasting your time. You may actually start implementing something because it's something that's relevant to you. Why'd you do that? I dropped the mic. Don't, don't do that. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hook me up with a like. And before you go, please leave a comment and tell me about a book that you read that was actually useful and why. Things would be really helpful for the other community members to read why this book that you're recommending was actually useful. It might be helpful for all of us to check that out. All right, and since you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on that bell icon to join my notification squad because if you leave a comment within an hour after new videos go live, you'll be eligible to win an SPI pin. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to reading your comments and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. Don't be a jerk. The end.